It's, it's the funny thing is when you're learning a new, a new song, you sort of want to do it on your own because if, if you haven't locked it down, it's going to sound pretty. Of course. Not good. Yeah. But <laughs> so. if I was a singer, I would sing my own radio jingles because I hear, you know, you hear Chris Evans has got great radio jingles. I'd be doing them myself. Could you just like make make my name into a jingle right now off the bat off the without cl- any? Oh, okay. Um, so like you. No pressure. So, Kate can Lawler. I, can I get some Kate Lawler? Yeah. <laughs> He's done it. I Can love... I get Kate Lauder on Virgin Radio? Yeah. <laughs> the Graham Norton Radio Show on Virgin Radio. It's going to be an incredible summer. I can't believe I'm, I've got this gig, to be honest. It's first time back in the West End in 10 years and um, working for Queen and Ben Elton. It's like, it's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Ten, has it been 10 years? 10 years, yeah. I've, I've done a lot of musicals, like tours and things since and TV stuff, but yeah. not back in the West End with, with a show for, for 10 years. Yeah. What was the last show you did in the West End? Legally Blonde? I think it was. Well, done, you done research. Yeah, Legally Blonde, the musical, and um, a concert show at the Vaudeville called West End Men. That was about 2013, yeah. So. Wowzers. I mean, as a Queen fan this excites me anyway i mean i should have seen the musical my dad i grew up with queen thanks to my dad's impeccable music taste not my mom's um what about you did you did you grow up listening to them Uh, absolutely yeah i think i think we all did really i mean my dad was a huge status quo and and queen fan there's there's two big bands and um uh, it's just crazy i mean even last night we're in tech at the theater at the moment and just to show you that the 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 enormity of it i I came out it was like 10 o'clock at night we've been rehearsing all day and the pub on the corner by the coliseum was blurring out um quick queen music really cheering having drinks i was like it hit me the reality of what of this job and how big it is yeah i was like wow i also i also thought it was really lovely i saw on your instagram that what else hit you was um the re- the reality you know when you realize oh my god well, obviously you know that you're going to be the musical but you were you were documenting a little video of you arriving in a london train station and you saw oh, the morning. poster <laughs> of the it was the that was a while ago i don't know when it was yeah. but you saw the poster and you were like oh that's my name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, that was the train I used to get. I'm from South End, and, and um, when I was a kid, I used to get trained to London to see yeah. the shows with family and stuff. And yeah. As I got older and started started off in the business, I, I, I same train into London Liverpool Street, and I pulled in that day, and there's this huge poster of the show with you know Queen Ben Elton and my name on the post. I was like, wow, this is crazy. Yeah, that must yeah. have been such a lovely. It was feeling. a real moment. Yeah. I was like, you know, it's, it, it doesn't leave you. I was like, it's, you know, it's um, it's incredible, really. Yeah. So how did the, how did this all come about? Because I hear that you were doing panto. So obviously your talent is what got you the role. Mm. But a lovely lady named Brenda was also playing a part in that, right? She was at Christmas. Yeah, this is our third third job together in a year, which is unheard of, really. I, you know, in 20 years, I might have worked with a few people once, but mm-hmm. three times within a year. It's crazy. So, yeah, that is crazy. And we kind of, dare I say it, we sort of manifested it a little bit at Christmas. She, she went, you do know that there's um, they're auditioning for this role, Khashoggi, the baddie character, and we'll rock you. And I'm doing the show over the summer. And she, she said, you'd be brilliant in that role. And I said, really? And I said, yeah. So it's been years since I've seen the show. And um, I got on the phone to my agent, got, got the material, managed to get an audition, worked really hard on the material. And then before I knew it, I was in the room with you know, Brian May, Ben Elton, all the producers. Whoa. Did you know yeah. Brian May was going to be there in the I audition? No, I had no idea. No, <gasps> not, not for the final. And um, I, I've, I've said it already, but I think if it was 15 years ago, I don't don't know if I would have been as composed as I was to, to go in there and just enjoy it and smash the audition. And they got the call three, four days later saying you got the job. I was like, wow. That's incredible. Yeah, but to sing a Queen song for in front of Queen was, was pretty, <laughs> pretty... What did you sing? What did you sing? Uh, the Seven Seas of Rye, but it's, it's the song that I sing in the show, yeah. Okay, I but see. It's such a great song, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's my first evil baddie character as well, so it's nice for me to be playing something a bit different and interesting. And Yeah, you don't mm. strike me as the sort of guy that would be cast as a baddie. Yeah, well, I've always played the nice guy... You have. ...sort of characters and roles the last 20 years, and um, in TV as well. So... But I'm playing him very dark and very sinister. I said to Ben, you know, I'd love to play this really dark. He's been a bit comedic in the past. Um, okay. So it's nice playing him pretty pretty evil, yeah. <laughs> new hair. Do you reckon that's what yeah, it was? Yeah, it might have helped get yeah. the job, I think. Yeah, my, my new, the, the curls are gone. <laughs> so. It's weird not seeing you with curly hair. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had it my whole life, yeah. And um, I basically had a hair transplant. Um, start of this year I was, I was losing my hair going bald and I thought right I'm going to get it sorted and um, it's, inc- it's been four months now that's incredible I've got a new head of hair yeah I so, can't believe I, you've had a hair transplant oh, no. it just, you know, that's, who, who did it it's we incredible. need their details I need their details yeah. I've got a massive forehead <laughs> I get them in honestly Lee's actually meant to be at auditions today but he's kindly nipped That they let him they let you nip out didn't they to come yeah, in yeah well, the, the rehearsal at the, the theatre yeah, sorry so, not auditions yeah, rehearsals I, I hope it's not audition <laughs> yeah, I'm going for another job I'm um, a professional uh, yes yeah, so we're in tech technical rehearsal which we're, we're 
we're on stage, all, all the company and all the costumes and everything else. And the set looks absolutely incredible. It's, it's, um, it's a huge surprise at the end of the show, which I can't just mention. But, Ooh, uh, and like the cast that. are amazing. They're so talented. It's just, it's going to be epic, yeah. And Ben Elton's returning to ben, direct. Yeah, he's playing pop. The, <gasps> the, yeah, which is... Um, I think I think he said it's his first musical since playing Artful Dodger at school or something. Or, or, what? Um, not school, uh, amateur company, yes. Yeah, so, really? Yeah, but he's sounding great. I mean, obviously because he wrote the show as well. Yes. It's uh, He's going to be a brilliant pop. And, um, You're a big fan of his? Yeah, oh, personally, huge, yeah. I yeah. Mean, I, I, it's quite funny, really. It's sort of, obviously working with him now in, in person, but just I used to watch his programme, you know, Blackadder and The Young Ones. and Yeah. He's written all these novels and yeah, he's, well, he's, he's a legend, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's an absolute legend. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to say if I met him if I was on the, honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I what yeah. I wanted to ask you was that, because I'd love to be able to sing, and do you just like when you're at, as a singer? Because you're obviously a very talented man. Oh, but you. if I could sing like you, I'd just be singing everything. I would never speak. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Do you? Yeah, when? I'm on my own randomly. Yeah. Do you obviously sing in the shower? Yeah, shower or anywhere on my own. Really, it's it's the funny thing is when you're learning a new, a new song, you sort of want to do it on your own because if, if you haven't locked it down, it's going to sound pretty. Of course, not good. Yeah. But <laughs> so. if I was a singer, I would sing my own radio jingles because I hear you know you hear Chris Evans has got great radio jingles. I'd be doing them myself. Could you just like make make my name into a jingle right now off the bat off the without cl- any? Oh, okay. Um, so like you. No pressure. So, Kate can, Lawler. I, can I get some Kate Lawler? Yeah. <laughs> He's done it. I Can love... I get Kate Lauder on Virgin Radio? Yeah. <laughs> He's done that off the... See, I would just love to be able to sing. I don't know how sing. good that was, actually. It, that was, was, it was fantastic. That was very off the cuff, wasn't it? No, it was off the cuff. I put you under pressure. I'm sorry. I should never do that. <laughs> I didn't plan it, so I'm very sorry. That, trust me, yeah. And I saw something on Twitter the other day, and it said, if you were offered a million quid to sing any song, word for word, but if you got one word wrong, you wouldn't get a penny. You wouldn't get the million. What would you sing? Oh, blimey. It's a tough question. Don't stop me now. No, don't, don't, no. That's <laughs> a tricky one, though. Everyone it? was answering, like, all these classics by Queen and the Beatles and Oasis. I'd sing Barbara Black Sheep. It should be as s- simple as song. A simple with the, yeah. nursery rhyme. There's a song called Blackbird by Paul McCartney. <gasps> Beautiful song, but I think it's like one verse. And it repeat, repeats with an instrumental. So I'll, probably, I'll probably do that one, I think. That yeah. is Blackbird such... Blackbird singing in the dead end. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Um Two Door Cinema Club, I don't know if you know who those guys are. They mm. came in live on Chris Evans' breakfast show a good couple of years ago and they did a cover of that and it was the most really? stunning cover of any song. It's probably somewhere on the yeah. website now. The simplicity of it is yeah. well. it's, it's beautiful. It's, yeah. What a gorgeous song. And it's great to see how far you've come as well since the uh, the days of Any Dream Will Do. Oh, thanks. Yeah, still I still pull out the old song every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first musical I ever oh. saw. <laughs> Joseph and his amazing technical a dream coat and I remember our, my mum and dad uh, buying us tickets and we sat so far in oh, fact you, we were, you saw the show well, it wasn't oh, with well. you it was with oh, Philip right, yeah. Schofield that's, that's how many oh you saw the show no, you many, <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to have seen you in it yeah. but it was with Philip Schofield many moons ago oh, and we were in the very back row and they gave us binoculars that's how far away from the Real stage drama. we were yeah but I always remember it because I mean it was the first musical I ever saw me too yeah and it was, it was, first, was it first show, first show who, who did you see at school and it was a local production at the Cliffs Pavilion in South then um, I think it was a guy called Richard's, Richard Swearing, yeah. What a soundtrack. Which is, uh, it's amazing, yeah. The, the, I had it on cassette tape. That's how long ago it was. But I rinsed that soundtrack. <laughs> so I just used to love it. I loved all the... What's, I'm not even going to ask you about the song. Let's talk about um, We Will Rock You. 12 weeks on from the 2nd of June. Tickets are available at wewillrockyoulondon.co.uk. Uh, you are starring as Commander Khashoggi Abadi. Yes. Uh, you can get tickets from there. It's only on for 12 weeks as well, and it's going to be a hoot. Lynn, oh, it's going to be a rock concert every night, yeah. So yeah. And down. there's a surprise at the end, but you're not telling me what it is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing, actually, yeah. 